you want FSR 3.1 and frame generation in games that don't support them, then you're in the right place, so let's get straight to the point. First, you can find the mode on Lux Patreon, link you have in description. If you don't have money to afford it or don't want to pay for some reason, I will provide an alternative on my Discord channel, also link you have in description. Now, if you know how to find executable file, you can skip this part. And to find executable, right click on the game icon and open file location and voila. For games where the shortcut is from Steam, right click the game in the Steam, select browse local files and look for the executable files. And this guy here is launcher and it's typically under 10 megabytes and it's not the actual executable you are looking for. For games made with Unreal Engine, which is the case now, the executable may, may not be in the main game folder. Initially, instead, navigate to Phoenix, then Binaries, then Win64, and to find it, the executable is usually more than 50 megabytes and anything under 10 megabytes is just a launcher. Now let's talk about how to install FSR 3.1 and frame generation, specifically Aniskill Preview 10. If you have an NVIDIA card, select all files except stub NVNGX and copy them into the games folder where the executable is located. If you have an GTX card, Maxwell or newer, add it to niskiller.config file using Notepad or WordPad and change fake NVAP results from false to true. Later in the game, when you run it, it will unlock DLSS app scaling if the game support it and FSR 3.1 will be replaced with the DLSS so you can also just enable DLSS and frame generation to get FSR 3.1 frame generation to work. Often and usually uh, FSR 3.1 frame generation is a replace with FSR 2 or better, so in the most cases you will just turn on FSR 2 and that's it. In some cases you might need to turn on XESS upscaling from Intel as FSR 3.1 hooks up to XESS and replace it with FSR 3.1. I didn't investigate too much about that, I just know that in Cyberpunk you will need to enable XESS and frame generation to get FSR 3.1 and frame generation enabled. For AMD or Intel card, copy all files including NVNGX DLL file as you don't have an NVIDIA card. Run the game once to generate the aniskiller.config file, then enable the fake NVIDIA GPU by changing fake NVIDIA GPU from false to true and fake NVIDIA NVAP results from false to true. And how to enable FSR 3.1 and frame generation I already explained. Most other settings above are well explained in the niskiller.config file, so you can explore and tweak them by yourself. But that's all from me now. See you next time and bye bye.